Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now this video has been a very long pending video and uh, I should have brought this up pretty bit sooner but since many of my subscribers and many of the other people who are now getting in touch with Travel Tech are asking me this question again and again in order to clear their doubt that how they can connect the internet to the digipad. Now most of my subscribers are already using internet in the digipad and most of the people who follow travel tech are already doing that but since there are so many other people who are new to this who are haven't still used internet in the digipad now i am going to show you in this video how you can connect internet to your digipad and give the digipad a whole new look and a whole new feel once you start following my channel so before I proceed further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video and don't forget to comment below on how you found out this video to be. Let's get started. Now since many of you have been asking me regarding how to connect internet to the digipad, now I can tell you there are mainly two things, there are mainly two methods from where you can connect the internet to the digipad. The first method is the Wi-Fi method that is the wireless fidelity method and the second method is the Bluetooth method. Now Wi-Fi is available now almost everywhere. Now, you, now some of you may also be not knowing what a Wi-Fi connection is. Well a Wi-Fi connection is nothing but a wireless internet connection which you can get from your internet service provider in case you have a wireless modem. So most of you may have internet installed at your home or office via a modem. It might be a BSNL internet or an Airtel internet or any other uh, private internet service provider. They will have a cable running to your home or office and that cable will connect to a modem at your place wherever you are living. And in case it's a LAN connection, it's a normal uh, modem, it won't be a wireless connection and you will be using it in your personal computer or your laptop using a wire. Now the same modem can be changed to a wireless modem and in, and in case if you have changed it to a wireless modem you will get a Wi-Fi network across the uh, receiver range of that modem across 10, 10 to 30 meters depending on the type of modem which you have bought that will be having its transmission range and that transmission range will cover the entire Wi-Fi network area. So make sure you go ahead and get a Wi-Fi router in case you don't have one. So once you get a Wi-Fi router at your place the next thing which you need to do in order to connect the internet to the digipad is to get a Wi-Fi dongle like this. So this is called as a Wi-Fi dongle. Now this is nothing but an adapter which actually receives the Wi-Fi signal from your router or from the hotspot you might have created from your smartphone and transmits it to the digipad so that the digipad can understand that signal. The digipad by itself does not connect to Wi-Fi. There is no Wi-Fi receiver in that. So you will have to use a Wi-Fi dongle in order to make the digipad compatible with the Wi-Fi internet. So this dongle, this particular dongle, I have bought it from the Honda dealership itself while I bought my car. It costed me about eight to 900 rupees, I think. But you need not buy it from the dealership. You can buy it uh, on the online sites as well. And, and one of the best, best one available is the TP-Link dongle which I will give a link in the description below that costs about 499 rupees I think maximum and it's a worthy investment and that is going to help you a lot in improving your digipad. So if you don't have a dongle like this just go ahead and check the description of this channel I have given a link go ahead and you can buy that. And if you already have a dongle and if I bought it from the online the next thing which you need to do is insert this dongle into the USB drive of your digipad or the of your car. So in this case the USB drive is right here and you can see there is a USB logo right there. So just go ahead open this flap and insert the Wi-Fi dongle into the USB slot. So right now as you can see I just inserted the Wi-Fi dongle. So once the Wi-Fi dongle gets inserted the next thing which you need to do in your digipad is go into the app section and go head down to the settings part. So once you click on the settings part now here you can see there is an option called as Wi-Fi written below the general settings. So if you click on the Wi-Fi button and this is actually the blue color switch that you have to turn off and turn on. In case you don't want to use Wi-Fi you can actually turn off the Wi-Fi. So as you can see the switch just turned left and the blue icon went away and it turned into a gray color icon. So now the Wi-Fi is turned off even if I have a Wi-Fi dongle installed in the digipad. So just make sure that even just the, because the Wi-Fi dongle is installed doesn't mean the digipad will get Wi-Fi. You need to manually turn on the switch in the settings portion of the digipad. So now I'll just go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi switch on and now as you can see the light blue color has lighted up and now here it is going to show you the uh, different uh, Wi-Fi networks available in this area and right now it is connecting to my phone Wi-Fi that is the Redmi K20 Pro and I have already entered its password. So in your case the Wi-Fi network which you want to connect you have to click on that network 
and enter its password whichever you have set or the internet service provider has provided it to you you can set that and in case if you are sharing the wi-fi hotspot from your smartphone you would have set a password before doing that in this case also in this video i have shared the uh, wi-fi network of my smartphone so i have put in the same password now and as you can see it is showing us connected so this is how guys you can connect internet to the digipad this is the best way to connect internet and the fastest way you can get a good decent internet connection on your uh, digipad this is the first method and this is the way i actually personally recommend for you guys to connect to the internet so there is a second method as well which i told you earlier and that method is the bluetooth method so you can connect the digipad to the internet via bluetooth but i don't recommend that i don't want you to do that but just for your information i am going to show you how exactly you can do that now the reason why i don't recommend that is the bluetooth transmission uh, range is very slow and the data transfer rate is very slow it's hardly unusable so i don't recommend using a bluetooth connection i personally recommend going ahead with a wi-fi connection because it's a much stronger and a much versatile connection compared to a bluetooth one so in case you do want to connect your uh, internet via bluetooth just just have to go uh, repeat the same step again just go to the apps and go to the settings of the digipad so once you have gone into the settings just scroll down to the down part and click on the about section so once you have clicked on the about section click on the menu button that is the heart button right here about five times so that a secret section opens up of the digipad a secret menu section in this case you have to click on the cps settings right here and once you click on the cps settings it is going to ask for a password the password is 9 8 7 and 6 So once you have typed in the password just click on the okay button now it is going to open up the hidden menu of the digipad so once the hidden menu of the digipad is open you just have to scroll down and as you can see here there is an option called as the bluetooth internet access just click on this bluetooth internet access and here it is going to ask you to enable internet access over bluetooth just click tick mark uh, click a tick mark on this and now it will start scanning for the bluetooth connection So right now I am going to turn on the Bluetooth on my smartphone so that the Bluetooth gets uh, de detected by the digipad. So right now, as you can see, it is scanning for the any proper Bluetooth connection, and my phone is already registered here. So let me just go ahead and click on that. So right now, as you can see, it is connecting to pan showing. So this is the method, guys, where you can use Bluetooth connection for your digipad. So you just have to go into the secret settings of the digipad. scroll down and click on the enable internet access over bluetooth and once you have your smartphone and you have uh, enabled your data connection so just make sure you go ahead and click the tethering via bluetooth option on your smartphone and the digipad will be able to connect to the internet via bluetooth so actually don't recommend this i don't want you guys to follow this bluetooth method it is just for your information i am uh, telling you in this video that you can also connect the digipad using bluetooth and there is an alternate method but the only connection but the only way you should guys use you guys should use in the digipad is the wifi connection because it is the strongest and the most best connection for using internet on the digipad so right now as you can see there is a wifi logo on top and uh, the wifi connection is strong because the my smartphone is very much near to the digipad and once you have the wifi connection up and going you can do anything else you can download apps you can watch movies you can watch youtube there are so many things which you can do which i have highlighted on my channel so if you haven't checked that out yet just go ahead check my channel and see the amount of things the amount of crazy things which you can do with your digipad which i have shown in detail in all of my videos on my channel so just go ahead check out my channel watch all the videos and if you like the content which i have shown you make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video i hope you like this video i hope this gave you some information regarding how to connect internet to the digipad to those people who have not been in this area yet who have not been working on this part yet and who are new to this area of using internet via digipad and everything who have bought a new car so this video is specially dedicated for you guys so i hope you like this video this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day